Hello, so we're going to continue. This is the extended reading for this future energy here for this reading that um, we just had. And I just, for some reason, I just felt like I wanted to extend it and just get a little more information here. So we have these divine detours here. So we'll move that over here. So this future energy, these pages, okay. We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups is coming out again. And we have Temperance, okay? We have the Seven of Swords. I feel like it is that this future energy is that things didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to and that's okay. But it's that still to, to be patient because I feel like there's even better things coming in for you. I feel like, you know, that it's this progress. It's this continuing progress for you. That it's just this continuing energy, this continuing directions that you're going in um, that is helping to motivate you, right? And to keep you going. And yeah, new beginnings, new starts. Um, I feel like it's new relationships, new relationships, because you have a new perspective here that you have a different outlook here, that you have a new outlook here, that you have a different perspective and that you've let a, let go of a lot of things from your past. And it's like, it's a new you, right? It's a new feeling. It's new energy. Again, we have the, um, King of Pentacles, which I feel represents business, um, I feel like for some of you, there is a business that you want to start, that there is um, career jobs. I feel like it's something that you really want to get into and start. And I feel like it's that you want to start looking into it and you want to start making those things happen. Um, I feel like it's new opportunities. There are some things that you have to get through in the past first before you can move forward. Um, there's some things that you have to deal with, but I feel like you're kind of thinking of those solutions that will work best for you in order for you to move forward with, <laughs> right? We have the eight of wands again. So in this reading, we have three of the eight of wands. So that is this, I really feel like the universe is pushing you forward, right? That is pushing you forward towards these goals. And I feel like you're still going to have those ups and downs. And I feel like that's something that you need to make sure that you're aware of that you, that even if the scale becomes off balance, that you're like, okay, I'm still going to keep going because I feel this is the direction that I want to go. And I feel that this is something that I want to pursue that maybe in the past I would have given up because sometimes the universe challenges us and it says, how badly do you want this? So I'm going to throw these things at you, right? I'm going to throw these difficult times at you to see how badly you want something. And I feel like you may have these challenges, but I feel like because you've been through so much in the past and you've dealt with so much in the past, you're like, no, I'm going to persevere through this, right? I'm going to keep pushing forward that I want. Again, page of pentacles, that young energy. Um, I'm going to keep pushing through. I'm going to make this happen. And that I feel that this is the right path for me. Um, and that's what you have to focus on. And that's what you have to keep, you know, remembering and playing through your head, right? Two of Pentacles, finding that balance. Um, I feel like this, this business that you want to do is, is important to you, but you're not able to put a hundred percent effort into it. So it's finding that balance as the responsibilities that you have to deal with, right? But then also making that time to look into this business and to make that time to devote to that, right? But not to the point where you become overwhelmed because then that could stop your progress because then you get so tired. You're like, I don't want to do anything. But I feel like it's making that time, finding that balance where you can take care of the stuff that you need to take care of, but it's also focusing on this business here. Um, we have the Ten of Swords and then we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like it's taking that leap of faith. See how he's ready to charge over the side. I feel like this opportunity is coming in for you that's really going to be successful for you, right? And you're not going to hold back and this is just going to give you so much energy and it's going to give you so much excitement, right? Oh, I'm excited for you. 
<laughs> but it, I feel like it's just making sure, right, that if you have a partner, I feel like maybe this Knight of, uh, of Cups is making sure that you communicate to your partner, okay, this is something that I have been dreaming of. This is something that I've been wanting to do. This is something that I've been wanting to pursue. Um, and I'm really excited about this, but to communicate with your partner that, okay, I'm going to have to spend some time working on this and I really need you to support me. And I feel like that communication with that partner saying what's going on and like what's happening, instead of just going off and spending hours doing something that your partner is like, well, why are you always in front of the computer or why are you always doing these things or, you know, I feel like having that line of communication is very important so that your partner can understand okay this is why you're doing it and it's like I'm doing it for our future I'm doing it because this is what makes me excited I'm doing this because it what's what it's what's important to me and makes makes me happy but also will help our relationship because I'm doing something that makes me happy and then I'm doing something for us financially and then I'm doing something for us to have the opportunities to pursue the things that we haven't been able to do in the past um, and also maybe your partner decides to join in on you on this venture, right? Whatever this business is that maybe you want to do it together with your partner. So I feel like communication is really important for whatever this is that you want to pursue, right? Um, and that keeping the lines of communication are open and that could help to build your relationship even stronger because they're like, yeah, we're going to do this together. You know, some people can work together and live together and some people can't. Sometimes they, people need that kind of separation you know just have that time apart it's not that they don't love that person but you know everybody has their their different ways of handling relationships but making sure that the lines of communication are um, open with your partner on these things that you want to pursue and that you want to do and I feel like the rewards are incredible the rewards are great um This is so satisfying. This feels so good, this energy, right, that's coming in for you, that, that's pushing you in this direction, that's giving you this fulfillment. It's hard to explain it unless you've actually gone through it. And it's like you get a little taste of this satisfaction and this Nine of Pentacles, and you're like, I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more, right? I want to continue this trajectory I want to continue this path I want to continue on this right I want to push this forward because it is rewarding in so many different areas of your life right whether it's you, you know you're single or you're by yourself I feel like it's definitely pursue this um, dream pursue this energy that you have okay pursue this direction that you want to go in and it's extremely rewarding like I was saying before you may have those moments where it's going to test you to see how badly do I want this how badly do I want to make this happen right how badly do I want to have this happen that you may be tested with it but again you embrace that energy that feeling that you felt with this accomplishment and you're like I want to get myself back to there to that and I want to keep going and I'm going to get through these challenges that may come my way all right so let's get a fortune reading card which just flew out right to pursue those to pursue this is bringing you to a higher level right a higher level of contentment and self-growth Back here, you were just surviving. You were trying to get through this. Here, you are living life, right? You are enjoying life. You are pursuing those opportunities. You are feeling more fulfilled. I'm so excited. I could go on with this forever, but I won't. All right, Phoenix. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is perfect. This is you. This is you embrace that energy of the phoenix, okay? This is you rising from the ashes, right? This is you rising from these challenges that you had in the past where you felt like, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to get through this. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Um, and it's you rising above, right, and pursuing this. Whatever this is, if it's a relationship, I feel like it's business. I feel like it's business. I feel like it's a career. It's business. It's money. It's finances. It's investing. It's whatever this relates to you with this ace of cups and this this king of pentacles um, and with these ace of pentacles here 
that this is you rising from the ashes and this is proving to yourself that you can do it because you know you have the smarts, you know you have the knowledge, you know you have the drive, you know you have the direction, you know you have, that is something that you have not been able to tap into because you were in survival mode in the past. You were just like, I just need to get through each day. But you knew that there was something inside of you, right? That, 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 that you have this knowledge and this, this drive. And that was that emptiness, right? What I've described in other readings is you feel like there's something missing inside of you, but you can't put your finger on it because you were in survival mode there. And now you are in living mode. And now you are like the phoenix. You are rising from the ashes and you are exploding with these possibilities and this energy and this direction and this, I can't even explain it, <laughs> right? And that's you and embrace that Phoenix energy and you can do it and you're coming into your own and you're living life and you're pushing yourself to boundaries that you never even thought that you could explore or you could do. But you know you can do it and you can push through it because you've survived this that this is a piece of cake, right? This is nothing. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited. So embrace this energy, okay? Like I said, there's going to be those times where those challenges are going to come in and they're going to test you to see how badly you want it. And they're going to, to push you. But you have to keep pushing through if that's what you want to do, right? To get to that, that feeling, to get to this Nine of Pentacles, that amazing feeling. All right. Hope you like this extended. If you did, give me a thumbs up if you would like me to do more. As always, stay positive and stay safe and I will see you next time.